Hi guys, it's Elisa here, or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hi, welcome if you're new. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, welcome back if you're coming back. I really appreciate uh, that you're showing me continued support and enjoying my videos. I have a rather special unboxing today. Um, this is from a new, well, it's not a new small shop. She's been around quite a while, but she recently released her very first diamond paintings. Um, if you can't tell from the box, this is from Miranda's Crafty Corner. Look at that neat branding. Isn't that cute? I love her box. I'm going to kind of scan through it here. She's got a nice branded box, diamond painting kit. And this is the image I chose. Now for her first round of diamond painting, she had this image and another one. I'll post the other one um, up on the screen now. I went with this one because it's a little mermaid and it was just a little more colorful. I like the pops of color in it. And it does say here that it's a square. It's a 50 by 50. And I believe this is the artist's name, Nymeria Art. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Let's take a look at the rest of her box. Randa's Crafty Corner, Randa's Crafty Corner. Now she has on the back here, uh, do-it-yourself diamond painting, instructions with pictures of what to do, which is pretty cool. And they're numbered one through eight. And then she has steps written on the box. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's very easy to read. They make sense. I bet your Randa probably sent this to the supplier and said, please put this on my box. I also ordered two putty with this kit because why not? You can never have enough putty. I wanted a couple um, light scents. So I got uh, sea moss and sage and honeysuckle and mint. If you're not familiar with Randa's putty, I really like it. It's one of the firmest putties that I've used um, that's out there. Um, I like a firm putty. It's It lasts longer, my multi-placer. Uh, I am a hard presser as well, so um, a firmer the putty, the better it is, I find. So that's what it looks like. And her scents are very nice. They're very light. They're not too overpowering, which I really like. I appreciate that. And that little brick of putty does last quite a while. So two new putty scents. She comes out with new putty. Let me just take the plastic off this box. Her putty, she releases every Monday. She restocks it and she all, um, offers usually two new scents every Monday as well. She will, uh, her shop's on Etsy. And um, most recently, probably a couple weeks ago now, is when she released these diamond painting kits. Now, I should have looked before I pushed play if they're still in stock on her website. Uh, I will link her shop down below, of course, so you can take a look after the video. Now let's open this up and see what's inside. This is my first time opening a Randa's, a Randa's uh, diamond painting. How fun. Um, it doesn't come with a dust sleeve. It just came like this in the box, but it looks pristine. There's no crinkles. It wasn't shoved into the box. The box wasn't too small. It fit in there nicely. And let's unroll this. First thing I can say is amazing size choice. Actually, um, when we buy diamond paintings from small shops in the community, shipping nowadays tends to be upwards of $50. But for this one, because of the size, it was cheaper. I think it was came out to 20 something. Um, if I can remember to take a look, I will post the price of the shipping above. Now, I did get it shipped to me by USPS, which tends to be the overall cheaper way. I did have to pay an extra $23 Canadian in customs fees for it. Okay, now it's laying nice and flat already. I don't actually have to roll this back. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, look at that image. That's beautiful. Let me zoom out a little bit. I forgot that I'm zoomed in probably. Let's take a look at the canvas. Now, this is not a soft back canvas. This is... I guess it's rough, but it's not It's not rough in a bad way. It's just, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's not that felty back. It's different, but it feels, it feels thin. Not, <laughs> I'm not saying this in a bad way. It's thin, but flexible, like it's sturdy. It's, it's, it's a nice weight to it. When I do, sometimes diamond paints can get really heavy for me to lift. And this one actually feels really lightweight from some of the other ones that I've lifted. So whatever material she uses, I really like it. And there is a bit of a sparkle to the canvas as well. She's got her 
branding at the top. Brand is Crafty Corner. I think that looks beautiful. She's got schematics on both sides, right and left. It's very typical. Um, you can see there, printed very clearly. I can see all the symbols in the schematic. There are 49 colors in this one. And it looks like at the bottom she has her ABs, and there's two of them. There's a 741 and a 5200 AB. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Printing on the canvas-wise, let me bring it right up to the camera so you can see. Very clear. Let me go to where there's some darker printing. Very clear. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm not seeing anything that would trip me up. Um, I like how there are black symbols on light background and white symbols on the darker background. I'm not seeing anything that um, would concern me about tripping me up or anything like that. Some of these she could have, or not she, but the supplier could have printed like on this brown, a white, a white symbol would have been better, but um, it's fine. Like I, it's, you can still see it. Same with this M here, a lighter a white M might have been better, but just the way it is in charted, it's totally fine. She has the um, original artwork down here. And then she has the name of the painting is, I guess, Elise. And then the artist is Nymeria Art. Instagram handle she has here. Sorry, I'm kind of off to the side. Uh, at Nymeria Art. It's a 50 by 50 centimeter, 49 colors, and that's probably just the like serial number of the painting. Sorry, I had to pause that very quickly. Um, let's take a look at what else came in the box. Now, she does send a basic toolkit here. She did have an option for an upgraded toolkit where I believe she had a sample of her putty as well. I don't know if the upgraded toolkit came with anything extra. This toolkit just comes with a, a white tray. Um, a basic pen with a single placer. There's no multi-placers. And then some uh, two squares of blue wax. If you are going to keep this blue wax, make sure you put it in a Ziploc bag or some other airtight uh, container so it doesn't dry out. I hear some people say that the blue wax works better than pink wax. I actually haven't tried it, so I'm going to use this blue wax uh, when I do her diamond painting to see um, what the fuss is about. Now, she looks like this is a sticker sheet. Now, these always come so rolled up. This is a normal paper size, like 8 by 11. Let's see here. I don't want to peel them all off because I don't want them not to stick. It looks like... Yeah, so she has um, the DMC and the, the symbol on separate cutouts. So as you can see, 154 and then the symbol is a separate sticker. So that's kind of neat if you wanted to, um, if your containers were really small, like I'm thinking those round screw top containers, you could put the symbol number on it. I personally like this entire thing on, on my baggies when I kit up. I usually take a screenshot of this um, paper or I will, um, scan it and copy it. Um, I like having it beside me because the way I do my diamond painting, I can't always see the schematic and I hate moving it up and down. So I usually have, I usually do a screenshot or print out of this before I kit up. And then when I kit up, I put the whole thing. So I'm actually going to cut this whole thing out uh, with a no serial number as well, because the way I put them in my containers, I actually look at the number one to 49 first. Um, it's just an easier way for me to grab the numbers. Here is the original artwork there. So that I'm going to, is it cut? No, it's not. It's not perforated. It looks perforated, but it's not. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut that out and put that in my paper log book. I'll also cut out the uh, information here so I have it. Again, there's her website. Now let me open these. Bear with the crinkle. Now I'm not going to go through all of the diamonds um, because I find that boring myself. But I'm going to show you some of them and then we're going to see where those ABs go. Bear with me. My uh, back is hurting me. Let's take a look at this blue. This is DMC 3752. 
on first look, these look great. I'm not seeing many tabs. I just see a couple, very small tabs, not many. I don't see any holes on top of the diamonds. I'm not seeing um, any extra pieces floating around. They look uniform in size and they look shiny. Um, I'm trying to grab the lighter colors so it's easier to see on the camera. Again, they look good. Very little trash. They look good quality. I'm trying to see how many facets they have. A similar, um, I hate comparing, but similar to the old Diamond Art Club ones the, with the diamond or the square on top, you know. I can't remember. I think that was 13 facets. Um, I see some ABs here. So let's see where the ABs. Here, if, if you take a look, here's the color scheme. So, so it got a lot of nice different shades of green. I love this purple. I love anything purple. I think most of that goes in her hair. Of course, a little bit of darker colors and grays and then some pops of color, which I thought would be really nice in this painting. Just put that up there. Stretch my back a little bit. AB 5200. AB, I'm sure you know what it means, but it also it means Aurora Borealis, which also stands for the Northern Lights. Um, that coating, that, that shiny coating you see bouncing off these white diamonds, it's reflecting all the different colors of the Northern Lights. Pinks, greens, yellow, blue, purple. So that's what an AB diamond is. And then we have uh, 741, which is a pretty orange. I'm sure there's some of this in the tail. So let me look. So the orange one is number three. So yeah, we've got a bunch of them. Am I in frame? Yeah, we've got a bunch of threes in the tail. Yeah, we have some threes on. Um, is that? I think she's wearing a mask. Where's the original artwork? I don't know if it's a mask or those are her ears, I think, on the side there. Um, there's some ABs there, and then there's a few ABs in the bird's tail and his wing. And that's the orange one that we're looking at. There's also a few down here um, in the plants down on the bottom left. And then the 5200 is a check mark. So the 5200 AB is in the torso of these two birds down here. Sorry. These two birds down here, that's where this AB goes. I see a couple in the cheeks of this bird over here. And I think that's about it where the white one is. So those are the two ABs. So here is Rand, one of Randa's first diamond paintings. So I'm really excited to um, take a look at it. I also forgot to check the glue. It's super sticky. You can see that in the bottom corner. Um, clear plastic film. No... No rivers or creases in the canvas at all. It, it looks beautiful. So a uh, good job on your first run of diamond paintings. I can't wait to start uh, laying these diamonds down and seeing how your squares are. First look, everything looks great. Um, if you want to see the other diamond painting unboxing that she released, Diamonds and Washi, Katie actually did it, and she's actually do, working on it now in her current whipping chat. So you can take a look at that painting from Miranda as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small uh, unboxing. Um, let me know if you've ordered from Miranda or if you already have it. Um, how do you like the diamond painting so far? Um, I think a lot of people in the, com in the community love her putty. Uh, she also sells some cover minders as well. So very cool that she stepped out uh, of her comfort zone and, and sourced and, and designed these diamond paintings. So um I definitely would look forward to doing more. I like that it's this size, especially. I'm going to let Randa know um, because this size shipping to Canada isn't super unreasonable. Like it's still $20, but it's better than 60 right? So um, if once in a while, you know, she um, released some art that I really liked, I wouldn't mind picking, picking it up. The quality looks great. So that's the, the biggest concern, right, is the quality. You want to make sure your supplies are are really good and uh, I think that these are so yeah um, otherwise until next time happy diamond painting y'all and I will see you guys later take care bye